Hello, and welcome to Z Reviews. And things look different. Um, we're testing this. This is a test video. I sort of discovered this amazing looking mode while I was reviewing my uh, big CRT. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if I could get my channel to accept 30 FPS, 4.3, 4K. Actually, it's not 4K, it's 3,000 by 4,000 pixels. So it's, it's high def, higher def. Wallpapers look amazing. I'm using different color settings. I've locked everything down. So it sort of works perfectly with this light. There's stabilization on. So the elderly won't be like, I can't watch that video. It's all shaky. See, now it's it'll still do weird things, like if I move my head a lot. But if I'm just staring down, and I'm just like... So it's higher vertical. So instead of... it's Usually it crops, and now it's more. It's just more this way. So you might catch more junk, but you see more wall, and you always see the, the wallpaper. So we're going to try this. I might do three or four videos in a row like this. Um, if you hate it, let me know. If you think, hey, I could live with that. I think it's going to benefit for people who watch me on their phone vertical because it'll just be more Zeos. Anyway, um, I'm here to review, honestly, just this unit. Just this. It, it's 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 made by Plus Sound here, plussoundaudio.com. And it was sent to me by a user named Darius. And I, uh, <sighs> apology is not going to be the word. I think he spent five months trying to get me this unit. Back when I was in my old apartment, he tried to arrange it. He was trying to get it out, and it was because it's like it's custom built, it's hand built, it's assembled in America, which means something comes from somewhere else, and it's hand built. And it's it's L.A. and then they, they ship it out, and you can push custom wires. And it took him like four or five months to get things right to get it to me. And I'm pretty sure it came to me like as soon as I moved to this house. That was 16 months ago, and it's just been, I, I've used it, but not recently, and it now it doesn't work. It, it lights up, it charges, it flashes to say I'm going to connect to something Bluetooth, and it won't. It just won't. And I just spent an hour and 30 minutes in my 54 degree basement. Actually, it says 56, because I had the heater on. My 56.1 degree basement, uh, updating the firmware, pressing reset, trying both my phone and a little iBasso player, it won't show up on Bluetooth. So I will pretend it worked and give a review, um, and then hopefully we can get this sorted out because I remember it being good. I tested it for literally 20 minutes five months ago. I charged it. I'm like, does it work? Okay, cool. And then it just, now it just doesn't. So plus sound, if we go to the website and things are a mess, cause I, I originally was like, I can't just do one unit. I got to do like a couple things, but um, Tish, but I'm um, Tish. Echo here, like if I hit back. So this website, uh, plus sound audio, I will link in the description. I, I want to, I would love to work with them. I'd love for them to replace this. I'm, I'm sure it's out of fucking warranty because I've had it forever and I'm going to need their help uh, replacing it because it's $224 if you get the base model. They sell expensive cables and I'm just immediately turned off by that, but we'll get past it. They sell some other, it is an amp they sell and all of these are literally this and this would be the coolest thing ever if you really pay attention to it. Because if you go into the Echo series, which is not the most expensive, the X8 custom Bluetooth cable series is 400 bucks starting. But if you go in here, you read it, like they talk about uh, reference and noise and Litz cables and all the handcrafted in the USA and 3D printed, blah, blah, blah. It's a very basic looking unit. There is a uh, cycle button for picking between two Bluetooth devices to connect to. There's three buttons on the front uh, three LEDs on top, there's a microphone, and then there's your USB-C plug. And you can custom order it to have this box here on one side, which I think is a terrible idea. They make it so you can put it in the middle, and I would do that pretty much exclusively. Um, but here's the thing. This has, MM this has MMCX connectors on it. Nowhere on there does it state that it's for IEMs only. In fact, ignoring that other thing, we pull this pull down with this scroll bar, you can buy connectors for Sennheiser HD 800s. 
uh, every MMCX, Etymotix, uh, all the IE series, Fittiers, HG6XX, 7XX, 8XX levels, Odyssey, Signs, LCDs, Focals. So this, 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 what they're selling, Meze 99 Audios, a single 3.5 millimeter, dual 2.5 millimeter. This company will literally make you a Bluetooth wire, either with it on the side or in the middle, that you could hook up to any uh, any headphone. I've never seen that before. That's fucking cool. I wish it worked. It's, I don't think it's this thing's fault. I think it's been sitting in my basement for five, six months and I had ignored it and it probably died and now she just doesn't. She blinks, but she don't connect. I get a little bit fucky with the website though, because this is an awesome product. But as soon as you go to pick the different type of wire used, because this is a uh, fabric wrapped wire and you can get uh, different ones. So copper, which is, I'm assuming this is copper. I hope he didn't spend the extra money because silver plated copper is $25 more. Silver and gold uh, lit six is $150 more. Copper plated, gold plated copper, 200 more. T metal, 250 more. Gold plated hybrid, 300 more. Tri copper, 350 more. Gold plated silver, $400 more. Tri silver, $600 more. And the palladium plated hybrid and copper plus two in one coaxial lit type matte black are both $800 more. And when I see that, even fucking offered, I want to burn some buildings down. Um, I'm sure that the. And I was going to be like, ah, I'll make a joke about this, right? Make a joke about all the expensive cables. Um, because I really want this to be a thing with like the center and I could just hook it up to anything I want and have Bluetooth. That'd be fantastic. It's a little expensive, but I mean, it says America, it's, it's people praise this brand. My problem came and this is, I've literally started making this review. I'm like, I gotta do this tonight because underneath the choice for wires, underneath the choice for the com com connectors is a compatibility list. Look, it pops out. It shows you every basically headphone that could work with these. Full size headphones, Sennheiser, 5XX, 518, 5 It just lists them over and over. The darn, it's a wonderful list showing you what is capable. And if you need more information on the cable style, if you want pendant or default, this is default. Pendant would be down here. Sleeving black or none. I think this has to be black. You could put the left and right indicators. You could say what you want to be the left and right indicators. Really good custom shit. Expedited, by the way, ship within 10 days is an extra $100. My problem and this is just me, and you could ignore it, and if, if plus sound audio, if you're watching this, you didn't write any of these, which is kind of what makes it okay for me to make fun of them. If you click sound characteristics under the wire choice, you know the wires I just read all the prices for? And by the way, this is much like my second channel. If you haven't been to my second channel, the previously just a sound demo channel, I now have renamed it to second channel and I'm reviewing software and I'm just fucking eating hot sauces. I just, I need to make videos that have nothing to do with audio or do have something to do with audio, but like without worry about no one's gonna wanna watch it. My main my main user base here, who you are, I know you don't wanna watch random shit, but some of you, some of you do, and that's on the Sound Demo channel, which is linked in the description. Anyway, I, I contemplated making a second channel video. I'm still wearing IEMs, by the way, I'll show you what they are in a second. Um, I contemplated making a second channel video or a live stream maybe one day that clicks this sound characteristics pull out and then just scrolls and reads what these are. And I, I'm gonna call out some names. And if you are uh, on HeadFi or uh, the headphone list or audio one, two, three or Headphonia, let's see what, what uh, Zatati audio. These are all users who submitted or maybe they just found snippets of these people using the different types of cable. This is a, we're going to get to like this and how this sounds. It's, it's really, it was good when it, we went to work for 20 minutes. I'll show the box. But I have to rant and laugh. We have to laugh together. Laugh with me. Help my, I, but it's two hours down here. My hands are frozen. This describes what every cable type sounds like. And when you fuckers, not not you fuckers, but you know the fuckers who we're talking about, are like, Zeos, you don't describe sound very good. Describe sound better. 
I want you to take a deep, deep breath and go through and read some of these descriptions of how the things sound. Um, I read one aloud a minute ago to my friends because it was fucking hilarious. I think it was was Linus from Headfania. I don't think that was him. The Tricopper. Okay, no, wait, no. There it is, the Trisilver. I'm going to read you the very first line from Marcus at Headphonics, what he thinks the Trisilver cable. There's multiple for each one. Um, the bottom line is that the Trisilver is an incredibly detailed, engaging, but also a relatively neutral sounding cable. This is a cable that really focuses on staging capability, teasing out really holographic presentation with a tuning that shies away from too coloring the sound with much treble sparkle or low end girth. Now, the last three words that I said were low end girth. That's the shit I try to not talk about on my channel, where if I can't describe what sound is, you have to just accept the hand motions. And there, this is just chock full of descriptions of um, top cable to showcase a high standard of detail retrieval and adds a smoothness to the overall sound. This cable pairs well with balanced and brighter sounding IEMs. The stage width and depth improves a lot to reduce congestion. I want reduce congestion. That's Dimatap or NyQuil. One of those does that, but not the gold plated copper wires. So I will, I don't think I could post all of these words in the description, but maybe a comment and you can go through and please, 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 please make fun of them. I mean, the, 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 the words, I don't blame Plus Sound Audio, they needed to describe why people should switch cables, and this is the fucking best they could do, is, I don't know, go to forums, go to everyday listening, and take something. The Tricopper is a lightly warm a, a lightly warm cable with well-controlled treble, a smooth mid-range, and generally full-bodied notes. Even when they're bullshitting about wine, I'm like, that's bullshit. This is a fucking cable in a Bluetooth thing. What are you doing? It has a darker background set to a hint of additional low treble crunch, which brings smaller details to the fore regardless. I didn't prepare and read these. I'm just, I just picked one. It also has impressive air that maintains atmosphere and a sense of openness despite its warmer tone. It, therefore, comma, comma, achieves excellent synergy with brighter, thinner earphones through it, though it can also suit mid-bass focused earphones with a thinner mid-range. I am going to fucking die. Die. I'm going to die. And I need you all to die with me in laughter. So I don't blame Plus Sound Audio. Yeah, they sell those different cable types. They didn't write any of those. They literally just poked them out. But that... I closed it. But that's... That's the audiophile shit I've been trying to avoid my whole career. That. Becoming that. Saying things are, oh my God, it's if it, comparing it to cheese and the cheeses of the world. And uh, no, stop. It, it's, it's a cable. It, electricity goes from one end to the other. If you fuck that up, sound can change. The end. Um, anyway, this is all the description of the thing. It's got a pair button, two button commands, hard reset, microphone, USB-C, hybrid functionality. It actually is truly balanced. Like the unit itself has no, no real design faults. Um, the upgrade process for the firmware was a little weird because when I decided to do it, I was on that website and I went firmware and I went add to cart and I'm like, no. And it's like, yes. And I'm like, okay. So I added it to cart and I had to check out with my name and email address and address. It wouldn't let me, I had to check out for $0 to then get a download link, just appear. And then I downloaded it and updated the firmware. And it's like, you have to hold like these two buttons and this button after it's been turned on and that you turn it on, you plug it into USB-C, then you hold three buttons down. Then it's in DFU mode, but it doesn't actually indicate it just is. And you hit the button on the old ass program that did a weird Windows 70 thing. Like when you drag the window, it was, it worked. It upgraded really quick and it was fine. Um, the program looked like it was from 2002, but other than that. So the wire itself, I, I don't know what magic lits fucking Charlie Chaplin's fucking mustache DNA, you know, has been sw swooned into this. I, I hope to Christ it's just the standard cable. They have a description of that too, which I'm, I'm just not gonna read. Um, this is a great concept. The, the, it comes with a beautiful, like, if, if this isn't real leather, this is as close as I've seen fake leather come to real leather. Because it's like 
It's like tough. This feels like a horse's saddle. It's like, yeah, get on that. Doesn't have the smell though. The plus sound packaging, the uh, what it looks like. First ever. Another reason I want to get this review done is because it's first ever. Like you see, like, oh, it's a shiny, like the little thin plastic. Not much. Fucking Lexan, like an actual sheet of Lexan to cover it that says designed and hand assembled in Los Angeles, California, USA. That's a that's a fucking first. The only thing that would be better than that if it was glass. I guess if you at the eight hundred dollar cable add on, I want that to be glass. It's got the little cover. It's got the little things. You got a warranty card. You have to fill out. Who does that? It, it shows you two button control commands. You have to hit two buttons to do other options. There's no instructions, by the way. I, I'm pretty sure I kept everything together when I got this unit, and I went to look online, which is how I found the firmware, and there's no way to download it, so good luck. USB cable, a little cleaning cloth, really nice gold presentation. Um, it's unfortunate that it's just not working right now. I even had a plan to hook it up to these. Since it does for headphones, I'm like, fuck, I've got these adapters, Zeos. Link these adapters that make a three and a half millimeter out of an MCX. And I figured that would be a cool little, like, oh, shit. Um, if you want to contact me, by the way, Plus Sound Audio, I'd love to try another one of these, maybe a higher-end model, with the cheapest wire you have. And I don't know what ends I'd put on this. What would be the wildest ends? I could use my 8XX as Bluetooth. If I get the 800, well, I don't know. Well, anyway, thank you to Darius for sending this out and having being the most patient person I've ever borrowed a piece of equipment from. I apologize uh, from the bottom of my heart for holding on to it long enough for it to fucking die from old age and be definitely becoming out of warranty. So let's talk about something else. Mark Ronson's daffodils. This has been sitting uh, possibly not as long. I think Theo sent it to me. Um, if we go back, if you go back into the history of Z-Reviews, so I've been in this house 16 months. This was definitely at my old apartment, so two years ago. This is the Ico, I think it was the Ico Arc, but its actual model number is the ITB05. And it was a wonderful concept. We, we, could, we could talk about, like, field uh, BTR, UTWS3s and UTWS5s. Those were like the, the thing. When the, U, when the UTWS-1s were out, which were meh, this was an, a great alternative and more powerful because it's literally a leather-wrapped neck thing. You put it over your neck. You have buttons on top, and you got these wires, which I was like, I don't like the fact that these wires have no strain relief here, and I feel like they're going to break. Like, I just feel like getting pulled and yanking. But you put this over your neck, you get two long wires too long too long wires too long johnson and you put your i amazon i don't i think they had both mmcx and two pin i may have sold one in a yard sale and you put your i amazon it them over your ears and they, they fucking worked great and in fact i adapt put the adapters on it and i ran i forget which headphones i was running around with on the, with this around my neck and that so feel makes one of these it's called the lcb to bt2 and the lcbt1 is still on amazon for cheap, and it's just, it's basically this, but 40 bucks. And I had one of those, and it was unimpressive. This one, however, which comes with this case, which I've never seen such a, there's the wire, never seen such a weird, like, flattish case, but it would hold your IMs. Um, this one's fucking baller. And you know what the problem is? It ain't on Amazon which means I'm gonna link it, and you're gonna go, can I buy it? And everyone's gonna go, nope. So fuck you, everybody, ha <laughs> ha. Seals waits too long to do reviews. This is why I'm gonna start just crowding my desk, pile shit on. That's why I need the bigger aspect ratio. So I can do this with 97 items. So the LCV2 has SBC and Qualcomm Aptex and Aptex HD and LDAC. So this is a full LDAC balanced neck one it's silicone it's much smaller than this one um which is both better and worse you throw this around your neck you've got a very like it's super flexible super flexible much shorter much 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 shorter um leads coming off of it than that motherfucker because it is closer to your ear fits beautifully put it on my my neck put it over my ear walk around all day 
super flexible in, in the actual neck part. This part has nothing on it, no controls, no plugs, nothing. This is just a, probably the battery is on this side. The battery and I would maybe think the antenna is on that side, I don't know. And this side has your charging port, which is here under a little rubber cover, USB-C charging port, because I don't want you to sweat into it because that's right against your neck. And then you get four buttons and a microphone. And it's power, positive, play, pause, negative. You hold this to change tracks forward. You hold this to change tracks back. You press this to pause. You double press. What's the price of gas in Reno? Apparently the average price of gas in Reno is four fifteen. Fuck! Anyways, that says your thing. And you, you raise and lower the volume independently of the phone. So you get to set the phone to wherever you want and then change this wherever you want. Just like the BTR5. This is a neck BTR5. It's close. It's fucking close. Maybe BTR3K, it's up there. Because uh, I pulled out, and it's, it's MMCX, because all of the FIO IMs are MMCX. And I was actually looking at my table over there, which is chock full of IMs. Like, I'm going to be doing IMs forever, and in big bulk packages. Most of them are no longer MMCX. A lot of them are all 2-pin. So I whipped out my, um, my uh, watch case, and I pulled out the FIO FH7s, which was FIO's flagship IEM. And I haven't used that in uh, probably forever. I think I review, I've reviewed these here and reviewed these at my old apartment. Cleaning the, you, if this is in higher res, you could probably see like all the disgusting on my desk, by the way, to clean my keyboard. Uh, I forgot, I'm gonna use this opportunity to praise the living fuck out of the FIO FH7s. Not FA7s, FH7s. These things have every right to be a flagship IEM. Every right. You put them in and it's just a black background of sound. And then the, the bass comes in and it surprises you. Because the last song I listened to didn't have over a lot of bass. Or like an exaggerated amount of bass. Uh, it didn't have low end girth. It has low end girth when it calls for it. But it doesn't have low end girth when you don't need it. And it's so clear and so fucking, it's not overly wide. These are still a benchmark IEM. And I've used them for the last, I let you actually put this in and put it on when I was trying to diagnose the problem with that. Just to, to have something playing music. Because I don't have anything to do with the speakers and I was walking up and down to try to do the, the firmware thing. And uh, I really, I'm, this is why I have such a hard time going to all those new IEMs on my, the desk behind me. Because... Shit like this gets reviewed. I love it. I forget about it because I got to keep going. But looking back, like pulling this out, holy fuck. Maybe we should just stop making IMs because it's just, some things just don't get better. This powers them perfectly, by the way. If this powers them to the point where they'll explode. So much praise to the LCBT2. Although that extreme hook is great for making them fit, but if this hooks together like that, yeah, you're pretty, it's fucked. It's just like, spend an hour trying to untwist them. So, Bravo Fio making a, and that's the thing, I don't know what the price of this is. I don't know what the price of this neck thing is. It can't be more than a hundred bucks. It just doesn't, I don't remember it being there. And I like the wires, they're like a textured wire. And while there is no strain relief visible, the hole is... Uh, conical, so it, it bounces there, so it doesn't get strained too bad. I wish one of these came out with a detachable cable, and it came with like two or three sets, because if you break one, boom. If you break this, you throw the whole thing away. The other thing I want to point at real quick, because obviously now we're not going to spend too much time on shit, and it just doesn't work, and I, you can't hear that, and it's great. I do have two sets of these uh, TRN BT20S, which is so outdated, I don't even know what to, to tell you about it. This was their attempt to compete with what was the original UTWS-1 from FIO, the Universal True Wireless Stereo. And there was, they're, they're all right, that's it. I opened up one set, they're two pin or MMCX. I think they're two pin or MMCX. Can you pick and choose? 
Yeah, 700 milliamp hour battery, Bluetooth 5, which doesn't make a difference. 80 milliamp hour earbuds. Yeah, it was either right. It was one of those things that just showed up. What I do like about this more than honestly the Fio is the extreme hard right angle that they put the connector on because that's what you need. That's why when I, I loaded, I pimped these on the last, um, when I did the review of the UTWS 5s, the uh, adapter for ear phone cable angled from optimization elements, OE audio, Zios, don't forget to link OE audio and do timestamps, you idiot. Um, this one is specifically to correct um, two pin, two MMCX. So he wanted to use a two pin wire with MMCX and he does it with a right angle. This already has the right angle built in. So you wouldn't have to use these. When I use these, I put the right angle adapters on the go MMCX a two pin for the adapters so I could use things like that. And it fixes that angle. It actually, so that's where TRN actually beat Fio in the full on design. Because otherwise this would have ended here and it really needs to go down and over to, to make IAMs comfortable. So there's that, there's this, there's that, and um, I'm done. Thoughts on the format? You hate this this view. I, the colors, I, I went to GoPro color. I s fixed the uh, white balance to 5,000. I've been fucking around with the brightness of the light. It's 36. Here's 46, 56, 66. That fucking thing will turn into the sun if I ask it to, which throws off the white balance and everything. It's just, I'm, I'm playing with it. I want to look better. 1080p GoPro footage is just not good. And you want to see the wallpapers because with the higher format, if I'm looking down, you get more background and more me. And it's a lot easier for me to like, I don't, it doesn't get cropped. I promise you all my other videos are just this with the top and bottom missing. If you want to, you can just literally figure out a port a player that will crop the top and bottom and put fit it to your thing and it'll look just like an old Z reviews. But that 4K beauty, man. Look at this Grove made stand. See us link the wooden Grove made stand. It's a, oh, I had to use a piece of Cat 5 wire, like solid copper, Cat 6E, to hit the reset button on the on the plus sound. It worked. Popped right in there. Anyway, I'm I'm done. This was I just needed to get this. I, the frustration. You ever been so frustrated at something, like you wanted to just do it? I just wanted to do a review. I just, I just needed to do the review of this. I just, and it two hours, of of strife to tell you that it sounds really good, and more importantly than how it sounds, which is really good, for like a Bluetooth thing, at least as good as the Fio, at least what I remember because it was months and months ago. But the fact that they offer this for any headphone is fucking astonishing. I, they're like hard audio, parry up. None of them offer a Bluetooth cable. Th that's that's next level shit they're offering. They are charging eight hundred dollars for for wire upgrades, but you know it's it's one of those like you take the good with the bad sort of things. They can offer this because they overcharge the fuck with cables. So they have money. It's why Modhouse has one headphone. If Modhouse sold overpriced cables or charged $2,000 for the, for the headphone, because it's almost worth that. The, really, the T60 Argon is almost uh, competing with $2,000 headphones. If he charged the shit out of everything, he'd be driving a Porsche and be able to offer Bluetooth built in and fucking, you know, custom paint jobs, send them out to Italy to have, you know, naked women rub oils all over their bodies. When you have that sort of fuck you money, you can do things like add Bluetooth adapters with any connector. So I, I applaud uh, Plus Sound for getting to that level. And now I have to yell at them for putting those fucking descriptions. Oh God, they're so bad. There's oh, one more before we go. One one more before we go. I, 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 will, I will treat you all to a final sound characteristics. Let's pick one. Um, something cheaper, the, the, the T-Metal. Okay, Pinky Powers in the headphone list it's about the T-Metal. The T-Metal carries a neutral warm tonality with remarkable clarity. A touch of warmth and polite treble try and fail to rein in the savage power at the core of this mutant. Upon first listening, I couldn't believe any cable could change the presentation of an I am this much. The soundstage skyrocketed upward. With the holy hell could I mean by that? What the holy hell could I mean by that? It got tall. Tall, I say. Wait, no, wait. It's like a fucking poetry reading. 
These are gold. Literally, some of them are about gold. Gold-plated copper is a wonderfully ergonomic cable with great performance and has quickly become one of my favorite pieces of gear. Seems to pair well with different types of items. Hey, Wyville from HeadFi wasn't a complete psychopath. He just said it's... That was the, the most long way of saying it's a, it's a good cable? Shoulder shrug? Anyway, a link to this. And like, I'll put that text somewhere because in case they delete it after this video, like, oh shit, we better delete... No, I want that to live on. That is the meme. That is the memeiest meme that's ever memed. In fact, I make posts, Zios, make a post on RZ, review, RZ Reviews, which is a thing, by the way. I have a subreddit still. I don't go there much. Not RZios, not the old lists, the fan-based one. Just just copy pasta that text and just no context. Just just no context. Block a text. You guys can go check that out on Reddit. I'm done. Uh, Patreon and subscribe star. <laughs> Patreon and subscribe star help support this channel. And if they won't take this back, I'm the one that's responsible for it. I have to pay for a new one for Darius. Sorry. Um, also, you get to see reviews early for $5 a month. Participate in yard sales, uh, which happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month, which I could put... The TRNs can go in there. I honestly could sell both my UTWS 3s. I mean, not with the gold planar planars, because that's still fucking cool um yeah i'll sell some shit i kind of want to keep the, i'm gonna put this you know i'm putting it back on now uh, so five dollars a month see reviews early participate in yard sales get into the sound demo oasis where you could hear all the sound demos that have gone missing over the years and any new sound demos get placed up there in flack so if you don't want to hear what youtube compression um does to my perfect sound demos you could do that uh, for $10 a month, you get into the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat, where you could ask me questions directly. And, you know, offer me gear, and I'll offer to hang out with you, and we'll, we'll go drink Thai iced tea together. It's a great fucking system. And then uh, you get into a private swap meet, if you're in the $10 chat, which is a lifetime swap meet. And if you participate long enough, and you've donated enough to the cause over the years, there actually is a lifetime chat. Shh, we don't talk about that. They got that full text just dumped on them. The, my lifetime members, just like... <clears throat> I did a little description. I should have not had anything, because it's just... Oh, God, I can't get over low-end girth. I feel like I gotta put that in the title of the video. Because it's just... I, I'm a psychopath. I'm a weirdo, and I like anime shit, and I would never put the words low-end girth in a row. There's a giggity in there. Is nothing but gig. I'm putting that on a t-shirt. Uh, merch is coming. New merch is coming. We're, uh, new, new merch is coming. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta write that down. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta write it down. Uh, low and girth. Okay. Boom. So now that's, that'll be on a t-shirt at some point and you'll be able to, you, no one will know why. You'll just be walking around with a fucking really nicely made t-shirt. There's low and girth on it. <laughs> it's just gonna be like what and maybe there'll be like a picture of a headphone next to it like really confused people um anyway i'm done that wallpaper's in the description you know all the shit check out hi-fi guides hi-fi guides forum um no sponsors for this video i'm trying to get sponsors because fucking the internet sucks as a job so we'll see how that goes uh anyway i'm done you're done i hope you like watching these videos in in extra high resolution with a slightly larger, you know, aspect ratio. I like this. I feel like I, like, it feels more important. It's imposing. I could do like the, like the, like the Gendo. This is how Gendo sees the world. He just sees the world through a 4.3 uh, hyper wide. Oh, I have it uh, linear too, which is why that isn't a weird, like, bowed shape. So it's, it's linear. Yeah, whatever. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, tell me. But give it, give it a little bit. Give it a little bit. I think the, 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 the stabilization, if I remember to keep my head a little bit stiller than most times, I think you're going to enjoy this channel a little bit more after that. See you next time.